It's been nearly a month since the Gray and Oregon Road fire swept through West and North Spokane County, leaving destruction in its path for so many of our neighbors here. But the neighborly love has not slowed down at all. Bronte Swarovski was at the Spokane Salvation Army today, where volunteers are still working tirelessly to serve those who lost everything in these fires. It's been a little over three weeks since the Gray Fire started here in Medical Lake. Organizations like the Salvation Army are here and say they will continue to offer aid to people for months, even years down the line. We're here to help, that we're here to, to um, walk the journey with them. And so we're really just providing whatever we can from this small truck during this time. This truck, known as the Canteen, has been all over both Elk and Medical Lake, providing those affected by two devastating wildfires with meals, water, masks, and emotional support. What's the next steps? And so many people are feeling lost and not knowing where to turn or what resources are there. Captain Kelly Kane with the Salvation Army has been helping with both fires since the beginning and says she still gets emotional with every visit. Just driving out here, it's, it's overwhelming and it's sombering to see the utter devastation that's taken place. And one, one house is perfectly fine and the next house is completely destroyed. Now the organization is shifting its work towards long-term recovery efforts. Long-term recovery involves case management, walking with these individual families in um, helping identify resources long-term, not just in the immediate. We're looking at one to two years of intense case management and helping families get reestablished and back on their feet. As the Salvation Army works towards that goal, it asks that anyone interested in volunteering their time to drive, give out food and water or provide emotional support, reach out to them at the information listed on your screen. For more information about how you can help those affected by these fires, head over to our website, kxly.com. Reporting in Medical Lake, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now.